How's it going, crew? This is Happy Days, and welcome to our Expert Mode Terraria 1.3 playthrough. And this is something that's been requested quite a bit, and it's something I've actually wanted to do ever since 1.3 came out. So, there's so much new, awesome stuff in uh, Expert Mode that um, I think you don't really experience properly if you're using your you know, your endgame character just to charge through and destroy everything easily. Um, they've actually done a really good job in powering up a lot of the enemies. And I, I think it would be awesome to experience that from a, a squishy new character's perspective. Um, a, lot of, a lot of people, you know, they say they get bored of Terraria really quick and it's like, well, you know, stop, stop killing stuff so quickly with your, your powerful, you know, your ultra uber characters and, and make it tough on yourself. So, let's, uh, the good thing about the wooden sword is we can actually re-roll this quite a few times to get a better one. So, let's just try a few and see what we get. There we go. So, I guess the thing about expert mode is, you know, you should be using tricks like this to get the most out of your, your game. Um, and I think, I think that's what expert mode for me is about, like using every trick you know to uh, unleash as much damage as you can on the enemies. So a lot of players wouldn't have remade the wooden sword that many times, but as you can see I've got quite a good starter weapon. Um, so yeah, so this let's play is going to be quite, quite, quite longer than my normal let's play episodes. It's going to be a daily series. And don't worry guys, it's going to be on top of any normal series we do, so Weekly Wire and Gavin the Gunslinger and Easy Farm series. Um, I've just really wanted to do a straight up Let's Play for ages now, and I figure what better way than with Expert Mode in Terraria 1.3. So, we've got enough stuff, let's, let's, get a, let's get a move on. Actually no, we don't have enough stuff. You know why? You know why guys? Because what we need to make before we set out is a bow. A bow and arrows, because I am guessing that a little sword, as strong as it is, is not going to be enough. So, same trick again, I'd like to actually try the bow a few times. Can you get a modifier? That's pretty good. Let's just see if you can get a better one. Keen, uh, demonic. Oh, yeah! Happy likes. <laughs> Alright, let's get rid of that. And I mined some stone so we can actually make some arrows for it. Beautiful. Okay, now we are ready. Favorite, all that, and we're off. Okay guys, so basically in this uh, Let's Play series, I'll be um, using every dirty trick and strategy I know to uh, really uh, do the best we can in this uh, Let's Play. Um, I know quite a lot of strategies for killing bosses, uh, farming rare items and all that good stuff. And yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share them all with you in this Let's Play. And I think that's what for me, expert mode's about. It's about, you know, bringing everything you know about Terraria and sort of challenging yourself against this mode. And I, I'm so pumped. Like, if I wasn't a YouTuber, I'd be playing this anyway, this way. Like, I think it's awesome. Um, so yeah, so let's uh, have a quick look in this cave and see if there's anything good. Yep, straight away we've seen a, uh, seen a chest. So let's just get some quick little platforms so we can have a look up here. Oh yeah, I got a spear straight away. Is it gonna be better than now? Okay. Still worth it, I'm, I'm still happy we made the sword. And interestingly enough though, the sword's gonna be uh, just as good against mobs of weaker enemies, so more than happy to have that. Uh, we'll get, we're getting some more stone because uh, we need to keep making new arrows as well. Now one thing I do want to do, and why I'm mining ore so early, I want to make a forge pretty much- oh there's a slime in here. <laughs> Alright, let's get some light on the subject. Yeah, that's it. See you later. Silver! Straight away, beautiful. Uh, basically what I want to do is get enough iron to make a bucket, and then try and find some lava. Because what we're going to do- no, nope, nothing in there. What we're going to do is go and cheese the king slime straight away. And yes, I said cheese because basically I'm going to use the lava trick to easily kill it. I'd like to get a mount straight away. And um, 
yeah, maybe some cool new drops. We'll get the royal gem off him, which is an awesome accessory. And I'll make the slimes happy to see us, but I'm still going to kill them anyway. And, uh, yeah. Alright, guys. So, a big thing about this Let's Play series is I want, uh, like all my Let's Plays, really, and all my... All, everything I do on YouTube, really, I want you to be a big part of it. Um, now, what that means to me for this is that you're sort of sort of helping to direct what happens in this adventure. So, I don't just want it to be me going, oh, I want to do the King Slime, and oh, I want to do this, and blah de blah blah um, Yeah, so if you guys really want to, you know, see me fight the Queen Bee straight away, or... Oh, excellent. That's so good. Look at all these sapphires. Um, the reason I'm so happy to find so many sapphires straight away is um, we can make a grappling hook. I, it's either 10 or 15, I think. I can't quite remember. It's one of those two. Let's just have a quick scout. Is there any... Ooh, there could be good stuff. I don't want to... I don't want to waste time unless it's worth it, so... I'll have a little peek in here, but we're not... I'm not going too far. Because I'd rather just be exploring the world at this stage. Alright. You'll notice I'm using torches to scout ahead. Which is a really good strategy, it saves you time digging through. Uh, there's a bit of ore. Nothing too crazy. Uh, let's see here, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, have I just got some stone, beautiful. Just want to get up here. Uh, chests, meh. No, there's, not, there's nothing too exciting. I won't spend too long in here, guys. Alright. Up, oh, out of torches. Okay, uh, it's just a vase, I'm not too fussed on that. I'm uh, just going to recollect some of the stone because I need to build a forge as soon as possible. And is there any? I don't have any glow sticks, do I? Nah. Let's use the swiftness potion straight away uh, because we may as well be nice and mobile here. Ho ho! Yeah, dodge the boulder. Nice one. And the only reason I'm excited about that, like... Ho ho ho! Holy moly! Expert mode, not mucking around. Trying to kill me already. Okay. Is there a nice chest up here for happy? Chest for happy? Come on. Chest for happy. There's a chest. Alright, I'm gonna get out of this cave because this is starting to be a bit of a time sink. And I don't like that, so let's get going. Alright. Just platforming up. Beautiful. A boomerang. Nice. Alright guys, so I, I guess I forgot to mention that uh, this Let's Play is a no holds barred, so I'll be using any weapon, any tools, any accessories. Yeah, I'm just going for it, basically. And the reason for that is expert mode's tough. <laughs> and yeah, you, you don't want to be uh, constantly getting killed by weak mobs. Um, so yeah, anything that's useful, I'll be using, and, uh, yeah. So, that boomerang might actually be... What's... Zealous? I might... Yeah, I think I'll use that over my, um... I think I'll use that over the, uh, blah, 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 what am I talking about? The bow and arrow, just for now. But still happy I made the bow and arrow because it's, uh... It's still good. It's still gonna help us out. Especially if, uh, say we get to the desert and there's some, uh, vultures, you know, it might be good to use bow and arrow against them. I'm gonna take a couple of sunflowers for the happy buff. Uh, especially if we make a base, I don't want to be getting attacked by monsters all the time. Because in the expert mode, monsters can attack your base at night time. Yes, that's right. You're never safe. Never safe. Alright, just having a quick look in here. Bit of a boring cave, unfortunately. And it looks like nighttime is descending and the slimes are having a little slime party, so I'm gonna let them keep doing their thing. Keep at it boys, you're doing a great job, keep it up. Alright, so so far so good. Haven't hit any different biomes yet. But maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's a good thing. Who knows? Alright, here we are. We're continuing to explore down this Oh, hang on. Looks like we're about to hit a desert biome. Our ultimate challenge so far. Now, I've heard desert biomes are really tough uh, when you're a new character in Expert. 
So, let's see. Hey, Slime, how's it going, buddy? You doing alright? Wally moly! It almost... That thing can almost two-shot me. You are a beast, my friend. What is the go? How about, how about you stay over there? And uh, I'll stay over here and we'll be fine. In fact, how about I just leave it alone? Nope. Oh, you want glorious battle, do you? Then I shall give it to you, Slime. You shall have your wish. Holy moly, these things are a beast. There we go. And the loot wasn't much better. But I did need some gel, so that's cool. Alright. Uh, one other thing that's a big, big challenge in expert mode is you regen slower. Um, even with the campfire and all that good stuff, your regen is drastically reduced, which is not fun. Uh, can I make a cactus sword yet? Yep, beautiful. Sh oh, come on, where's the love? Where is the love? Okay, actually I probably should be focusing on cactus armor, shouldn't I? And, oh, there's one of the new underground biomes, beautiful. I'm so excited to find that. Okay, so, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now, cactus pickaxe, not really an upgrade, no. Nah. Can I make any cactus armor yet? No, I won't wait, I'll wait until I can get the whole set. Alright. There's some water leaf, I'll definitely be grabbing that. Alright, let's just, uh, let's just make a little look over here. Okay. So, I'll descend into this little area in just a moment. I'm just going to grab some more uh, cactus. I want to make the cactus armor. Because I'm having a feeling that zombies... Ah, they've got a jump attack now. That's cool. And isn't it interesting how just one little AI change... Holy moly! That thing hit me for half my health. Oh, I love this. I love this. This is awesome. Oh my gosh, it's so cool to feel so weak in the game again. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I remember when I first played Terraria, it was like three, maybe four years ago. It's been a while. And, you know, the game was hard then just because I was such a noob. But uh, this, it makes you feel, it gives you that warm and fuzzy noob feeling all over again. <gasps> That's not good. That can't be good. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so as I said, I'll be using any cheesy strategies I can think of. Um, and as you can see, that thing hit me for 63 hit points. So there wasn't going to be a lot of fighting going on there. Alright, so guys, just in the interest of keeping uh, the Let's Play interesting as well, anytime I have to be a bit cheesy like this to survive, I'll, uh, this is probably a time I will edit. Um, rather than make you watch me shoot slimes out of a box while I'm regening health. Um, what I'll probably do here too is farm for a shackle. And possibly even farm for a shackle with a good modifier. Um, so, basically I could grind zombies all night, get a couple of shackles, try and get one with warding for armor. That's going to make a big difference. So, uh, ready for a montage? <laughs> I know I am. Okay guys, so what I've done here is I've made a bit of a zombie trap and this way they can easily fall in the hole and yeah, I can just kill them with my spear um, which is going to speed up the farming a lot and is a slightly more fun than trying to shoot them with arrows for 5 hours so I'm going to think of a way I can farm the demon eyes while I'm here too so I'll see you soon
Okay, it looks like we're running into another desert biome. No, it's desert? Jungle? Yeah, de Oh my gosh, this doesn't know what it wants to be. It's part desert, part jungle. Oh my gosh, can you imagine how tough this jungle is going to be? Is that another pinky? It's like attack of the pinkies here. I wonder if I can trap it. Like, get it caught in a little hole or something. And then just smush it with a spear. And I'll smush you good, pinky. I can't believe how much gold they drop. It's like pinky is... Pinky's rolling in it. Gosh. Maybe it gets given lots of gold off the other slimes because it's so cute. It's so cute. I saw a picture of it. It looks pretty cool. So points for looking cool. Alright, so we've got a heap more cash. And now we're going to make our way into the jungle. And we're getting attacked by a bat already. Oh my gosh, everything's so strong. Alright. Okay guys, uh, I think I do want to explore the jungle, but I'm mindful that if we're having trouble with basic de desert enemies, I'm feeling we're probably going to get totally pwned in the jungle. So what I'll do is we're going to have a little peek. We're going to have a little, little peek, but I'm most likely going to recall as soon as possible. So um, I just, I'd rather, I've got so much cash, I'd rather just sort of you know, go and start a base. So, but that's that's okay, we can have a look still. Have a little look. Now, you'll notice there's water dripping from some places. There's a new mechanic uh, in the game and you can buy like water drippers or something. Now, I haven't actually played with them yet, but I'm interested to see what that's all about because it does look kind of cool. I'm just gonna grab some mahogany while we're here for some different building materials because why not? And Mr. Piranha, you're not going to kill me, are you? Okay. So as long as I don't breathe, the slime can't kill me. Easy, right? <laughs> yeah, how you like that jungle slime, huh? Yeah, you better run. Ooh, ooh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, the spear's actually kind of good against this guy. But the slimes are coming up hard on the rear here. I don't have long. Oh, I love this expert mode, guys. If you haven't tried it yet, just make a new character and jump into expert mode. This is fun. It's like, it's so nice. But, you know, I was hoping they would massively up the enemy damage, and they have. And it just makes it, it feels challenging again. Like, I was excited when I found a spear, you know what I mean? Normally you're just like, oh, spear, that's kind of cool. Like, I was like, oh my god, I need this. <laughs> you know, I, I felt good when I got cactus armor. It was like, yes! You know, I need I need that extra two points of defense. Oh my god! Oh, I need that so bad! <laughs> so yeah, fire it up, guys. I, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. This has been amazing fun so far. Okay, guys, here we are back at spawn. And I'm going to start construction of our base in just a moment. I just need to get a few more building materials. So me and the guide are going to smash up some mobs and uh, yeah, I'll just chop a few trees down, maybe get some more stone, all that good stuff. And then we'll start building. So I'll see you soon. Okay guys, here we are back at base and I've dug a bit of stone. We've got plenty of wood. So the time has come to start making our amazing base. So firstly, let's get uh, all the, the junky sort of stuff in there. Uh, I'll keep the platforms out, so let's do those so I don't accidentally de deposit them again. And yeah, let's use some rich mahogany as well. That's kind of cool. Alright, alright. So basically, what I want to do is build well off the ground. Uh, because hard mode, uh, expert mode mobs are really not nice. <laughs> and uh, this will keep the NPCs relatively safe. I say relatively because, you know, they're, they're probably going to die still, but hey, what can you do? What can you do? And, no, I'll make the first barn out of normal wood. Why not? Alright, so let's get a bit of a, bit of a design like this going. So I'm going to speed build this and uh, put, a, put a tune to it or something like that. And I'll see you guys at the end. Alright, see you soon.
Okay guys, so here's our base on our first night. Uh, it's quite cozy, we've got a fireplace, we've got some nice tables and chairs, we've got the bloodthirsty undead trying to get into our home. Really, life's complete here in our expert world. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've got a nice chest full of stuff I need to sort. Uh, we've got a cool herb bag, which... Uh, oh, let's open it quickly. What do you get? Oh, yeah, that's amazing. Wow, they're really, really cool. I like herb bags. They're awesome. Wow, that's, that's, a, that's, that's cool. Love that. So yeah, guys. So look, I, I'm going to do this daily. I love the expert mode. I think it's amazing. It's really hard. You know, <laughs> you can die from like even these zombies hit like anything with uh, some of them have weapons. Um, so leave a like for this new series. Remember, this is not uh, substituting anything we already do. Um, we'll still do Gavin the Gunslinger. Still got Serena coming back. Still got all our normal shows like Feature Series and Weekly Wire. So thanks for watching as always. Leave a like. Show this new series some love, guys. And uh, yeah, keep those suggestions coming for what would you like to happen in our 1.3 Let's Play of Expert Mode here. And if you've got any tips for me as I wander into this strange new world, please leave them in the comment section. Alright, time for some shoutouts. Okay, we've got RZYAO. Rizyao has asked me to say the cake is a lie. Love the portal reference, very cool. We've got Johan Wiyaya. He's asked me to say Bobby the Blobfish five times really fast, so let's give this a shot. Bobby the Blobfish, Bobby the Blobfish. <laughs> oh no, I can't do it. Bobby the Blobfish. Blah, blah, blah. Nah, tried. Can't. Sorry, sorry, Johan. Okay, we've got Spartan101. He's asked me to say, Happy, eat that hallowed cookie. And then I say back, No, I like chocolate hallowed cookies. Wonder what a hallowed cookie would taste like. You know, it'd be like all sweet and sugary and possibly have you know unicorns flying out of it that would be amazing oh my god and we've got sj6gaming.bl has asked me to say in a posh voice oh yes guess what's ours 1.3 everyone yes get hyped and drink green tea mm, yes i say what mm, splendid crumpet and all that <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching leave that like keep those comments coming and if you haven't subscribed yet Click that little HD icon in the bottom right corner. You won't be disappointed. Until next time, this is Happy Days, hiding in a house from bloodthirsty zombies. See ya! And that means that ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you can see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides. The mimics can get in, which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. Just... Oh, he's got 3,000 health! <laughs> he's only got 3,000!